Hey, hey, welcome back to Roadside Rescue. I'm Ernest, and we just got an emergency call out to go rescue a car that won't start on the side of the road. Um, the girl's pretty sure it's probably her battery, and uh, she sent me a picture. It's pretty corroded. Um, I'm not sure if she's had issues with it in the past, if that's why she's so certain, but she is real close, so we're just going to go over there first and do some testing and see if we can't replace those battery terminals. I do have a stock of battery terminals that I keep on hand because it's a pretty common issue. Uh, if it's not that, if it happens to be an alternator or a starter, then uh, we'll just get back across town, grab one of those, and then we'll go replace it. So normally I'll carry all those things with me, especially if it's a considerable distance away from the parts store. In this case, it's real close and she seems certain that it's those battery connectors. So we're gonna hop over there and see if we can't figure it out and we'll take you along. So. Let's get on the road. So here we are at the vehicle. We have a multimeter here. What we're gonna do first is test the battery by putting both the leads on the terminals. Okay, can't do it with one hand, but um, the battery terminals have 13.6 volts, so those look fine. What we do next is put the leads here past the terminal, you know, past the connection. The connection would be here. We wanna put them on the wire, so we'll put the negative here and the positive here. When I do that, there is no voltage, no change, so zero volts. So we know that the connection is bad between the connectors and the battery itself. Um, what this girl has asked for is that we go ahead and replace both terminals. So we will see what we're gonna do about this one. We may switch it to a marine style connector and just put a hole in this bracket here rather than have to cut and strip all this wire so that's probably the best idea um, I think that we can do and just make sure this stays all nice and clean I have got some battery cleaner a small little toothbrush to clean that up with some new connectors some new felts and some wrenches to get these new connectors on so it should be pretty simple we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up okay so surprisingly enough I went ahead and just put the camera up so you can see here's 12 volts uh, surprisingly enough, the bad connection is on this clean side here. So uh, if we test here, we still have 12.5 volts. But if we test here, well, great. Now it's obviously going to do it. So now the car would even start probably. The other issue you need to look out for is sometimes you'll test here for voltage. Yeah, sometimes you'll test here for voltage and it'll have 12 volts but it won't be passing enough amps through a bad connection. So sometimes you'll think, hey, it's my starter because my battery's good. I've even tested it here and it has 12 volts. What you need to do is put a battery load tester on the connectors here and not on the terminals. So if you put that battery load connect, that battery load tester here and it'll show that it has a weak battery. So it's not putting out enough amps. And so you need to be careful. Sometimes you'll replace the starter and that's not the issue. So if you're testing a battery, make sure you test here and here and you put your load tester here to test for a bad load and uh, that'll give you an indication of whether it has a bad battery or not because then you can take those same testers and put them on the tops of the terminals here and you'll see that it has fine voltage so we'll go ahead and swap these out So there we are. We've got these connected up to some clean marine style connectors. I just went ahead and put that one there. I cut this bracket here because rather than replace everything down here, that's fine. Drill a hole in here 
and 12.51 uh, volts, nice and steady. Now it's on this connection here, so that's exact same voltage as the battery. Looks great. Uh, took a while to get everything cleaned up. Had to draw out a couple of holes a little bigger uh, for this positive side on that marine cable. Uh, caught my thumb, but it happens. Uh, everything's good to go. It should start up nicely. Let's go ahead and test that out. All right, after fighting with the alarm there for a minute, everything is running and good to go. This is another episode of Roadside Rescue on the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.